Now, before going into this video, I just want you to know that this video isn't based on how Mr. Jairaj and his son, Mr. Benix, died. In fact, by this time, you people would have known. All us are demanding justice for Jairaj and Benix. Here in this video, let us understand what sort of action will be and should be taken against the police officers in this issue with reference with IPC. Also in this video, we will provide you what are the violations of law the police have committed in this issue and what are the rights of the arrested people which were denied here. As per the claims that the police officers, two sub-inspector and an inspector had tortured the father and the son to both in their custody which led to their death. The officers are punishable for the first degree of culpable homicide amounting to murder and be charged for double murder under section 299 of IPC for which the punishment is death penalty or lifetime imprisonment. The biggest blunder that the police officers made in this issue is the FIR. In the FIR, it is written that when asked to close the shop, Jairaj and Benek sat on the road and uttered abusive statements and started rolling on the ground due to which they suffered internal injuries. Note down this word, internal injuries. How do the police know they suffered internal injuries? As per section 55A of CRPC, it is the duty of the police to take care of the health and the safety of the arrested person. So why didn't the police get medical help and support to the arrested know they suffered internal injuries? Also, the arrested person has a right to demand a medical examination to prove that they were subjected to torture by police as per 54 clause 1 of CRPC. The father and the son have been deprived of their fundamental rights in the police custody. Article 21 assures right to life and personal liberty which also means to be treated with dignity and not be harmed or tortured in any manner which also applies to the people at custody or prisoners. A person deprived of this can file a writ petition. As a judicial inquiry is going on, by the latest report, it is confirmed that they have been brought to sub jail with grievous injuries and these injuries are caused before arriving at the sub jail. But a medical examination was conducted prior this way the doctor had declared them fit for being sent to prison and no medical aid was provided here. Also to take in account that the internal injuries were mentioned in the FIR itself. How can a grievously injured person be declared fit? Addition to the murder charges as per section 166 of IPC applies as a public servant who violates the law with intention injures a person. As claimed by many that they both weren't arrested in the same time but Benix was arrested when he went and argued with the police officers in contrast to what is written in FIRs arrested at spot. If proved then this will be punished under section 167 of IPC for intentionally framing an incorrect document. There has been cases filed on them under 5 section which is if proven fake or done a grudge then they are accused under section 220 for corruptly coffining a person. In reference with all this if proven of the custodial violences, the police officers along with being faced with murder charges have to pay a compensation to the family of those victims as per 357A of CRPC. This video is presented to you by Smiley India. Know these and fight it in the right way.